Hi guys, I thought I would review namaste.lms. Um, the usual story, go to plugins, add new plugin, type in namaste.lms and you get this namaste menu over here on the left hand side. Courses, lessons, to-do, assignments, student certificates, webhooks, settings. So first of all, I went through the settings menu. Um, it's not particularly complex, just a, a couple of um, uh, boxes you can adjust here. Default, you need to be logged in text, where I have added in my uh, URL. Um, there was very little else that I changed in this, apart from putting in the pound sign, adding in some... Um, uh, PayPal settings. Okay, so the first thing I would have to say about Namaste uh, LMS is that they make an assumption that you're going to have PayPal um, uh, business, PayPal for business. I don't. Um, so I installed my entire system uh, and my entire course and when I added in the PayPal settings it hasn't worked for me. And so unfortunately the PayPal I didn't didn't work. The Stripe I wanted to use that as well, but it's when I put in my Stripe things, it said the Stripe payments are now depreciated. We want to use something else. So in short, it looks like you have to use uh, WooCommerce. I don't use WooCommerce. And so straight away, I have to say to you, I've decided not to bother using Namaste.LMS. But having done all this work on it, and I spent five or six days trying to figure out all these problems, Namaste LMS don't give you any support because it's a free plugin. Um, I asked half a dozen questions of the um, uh, support forum and never got a single reply. So know that when you take Namaste LMS, you're entirely on your own. I'll show you the other things about it. You make course and I've uh, clicked make a new course. And so um, you end up with a single post, uh, uh, sorry, a single kind of like title courses and there's my course here and when I edit my course I'll show you what it looks like inside the amount of work that I've put into it um, uh, here is the home page I put in my first home page when you get further down the page you have to start using the namaste short codes so in this instance here I have a video uh, sorry an image and then I have a text block and then I've put in the short codes here which I'll talk about in a second and I've put on a, a film which is for um, users who haven't purchased the course. Then I use the short codes and I put another film for users who are logged in and have purchased the course. Okay, so just to say I was unable to test any of this because I couldn't actually purchase the course because none of the PayPal would work. From PayPal back to me, um, PayPal wouldn't return a token. So it's possible for me to charge for my course using Namaste LMS but it wasn't possible for Namaste LMS to plug in for some reason uh, the fact that it had been paid for and to put the person onto um, a, uh, a, you know, as a, a registered user who'd paid. So I haven't actually been able to test my own course. To be honest with you, I'm moving on to a website called Thinkific who give away a free course um, that you can upload for no cost at all. So having done all of this, let me just show you the short codes. When you start up, you use Namaste Enroll, which shows a button to make people enroll. And then it says Namaste My Courses. This shows what courses they're actually on. And then Namaste Condition is enrolled, enrolled equals zero. So if they're not enrolled, they'll get to see this film here. Namaste Condition Ends. So that's the end of the short code. The next block of short code I put in, Namaste Condition Enrolled is one. And then I put a film which is, if you are enrolled, this is what you'll see. And then Namaste, my course is enrolled. Uh, namaste, first lesson. And Namaste, condition. So basically, when you do all of these things, um, it goes to show you this page, uh, either as enrolled or unenrolled. Okay, again, that's quite complex because, of course, you have to do everything in a, um, uh, in a browser sorry in an incognito browser to see what's going on and as soon as uh, you enroll in your incognito browser of course it does start to work but not being able to pay for the course even via my incognito browser I wasn't able to actually experience what happens after this step so there's another observation I'd make is that these short codes on every single page so let's now go and have a look at some of my lesson pages the short codes on my um, lesson pages 
tedious as anything. So we roll down here, we look at lessons, click lessons, and uh, eventually it opens up and here are all the lessons that I've made. So let's have a look at them. Every single lesson I've made um, has the same short codes in it. So by clicking lesson, you'd think to yourself, you see I have to cut and paste short code is enrolled, uh, namaste lesson status, and then I've had to use a text block to embed my video. This is the classic text block in WordPress. And then to show a mark button to show that they've done it. Then a next button, a next class button, and then uh, the namaste condition kind of switching off as it were. So every single one of the classes requires you to cut and paste these short codes into place. You'd think that by pressing the new lesson button that it would actually just fill out a template for you but that's not possible and I don't know how to make a template. So there's so many kind of problems with this software that don't make sense. There's another thing as well is that the enrolling process for someone to become a WordPress user, for them to actually be allowed to access the um, software. I found it impossible to get any decent uh, uh, um, enrollment forms from Namaste as well. So in the end, I've had to go down and load uh, Forminator and go through Forminator to make a whole new set of um, logon forms and a whole new set of sign up forms. Um, and so, and again, you know, I, it's just the complexity of the whole thing. I, I don't know. Namaste seems to think that what you're going to do is to download their template uh, for their, um, uh, their, sorry, their theme, that they're going to actually download a whole, you'll download a whole new theme. I've been using the WordPress, you know, 2021, 20, 22 themes for a hundred years. I'm not going to change and suddenly start using somebody else's theme. What I was looking for was a free LMS. And what I've actually found is a free LMS from these guys called um, Thinkify or Thinkific, I think it is. And so I have to say that all of this work that I've put in, um, are, you know, when I eventually I, I finally got a contact from... Um, namaste they sent me back a, a message saying hey I'm really sorry perhaps this software is not for you we can't offer you any support and I sort of thought well I understand that it's a free piece of software but honestly you know the one thing that has stopped me being a really really happy user is for them to explain to me why PayPal won't return this token so all of this work that I've done just goes straight out the window and I'm starting my new course again so if that means that you are going to want to make a paid-for course so you can have it on your own website and collect money through PayPal or through Stripe. I wouldn't bother with this plugin, I have to say. I think it's very, very difficult. I think that um, they could have made it so much easier just by making standard templates, you know, a, a, a page for a class. I know that everybody's classes are going to be different, but it's actually easier to delete a short code that's already filled in than it is to have to cut and paste. In the end, I made up a, a notepad which had, you know, 20 different um, uh, Namaste um, short codes on it. So at least I could just go to that and cut and paste these short code into the page. It's just incredibly boring and incredibly slow. And to find the videos was so difficult to embed and then in find that, you know, you can't make the PayPal work. Honestly, I'm more frustrated than I could ever be. So sorry, Namaste. Uh, in a sort of marking 9 out of 10, you know, sort of marking out of 10, I'm afraid I wouldn't give you more than 2. Uh, and if this saves someone else a lot of time, I'm really pleased.